way, way, way in the back of this West St. Louis warehouse, back behind the lumber, back behind the insulation, back behind whatever this thing is. Santa's helpers. Santa Claus is coming to town. A teenager can have this for sure. Santa is a principle of giving without asking anything back. And that's what we do. And they have been doing it for almost 50 years. It is called Santa's helpers. But in this case, Mr. Claus is a 76-year-old whirlwind of a woman named Rita Sweener. High five on that one. Watch her work for just a few minutes and you might find yourself getting sleigh sick. Santa's Helper started in 1968. We did the one family for three years, and uh, then we got six families at a school in North St. Louis, and then it kept growing from there, and now we're over 600 families. That's a nine-month boy, that'll work, okay. Starting on Christmas Eve and continuing through Christmas Day, dozens of volunteer Santas spread out across St. Louis. This year we're sending out 42. Delivering gifts to needy families identified by social service agencies. They've got to be able to say that they know this family and they can test the financial needs of the family. Each child gets several presents, including clothes, books, and toys, ranging from tiny soldiers to large stuffed animals, and in some cases, even a bike. It's the grandma raising her four kids. Some of the presents are paid for by cash donations. Others come from toy drives and from driving a hard bargain. I will go to a store manager and say, you've got a bunch of these, you need to get rid of them. Give me a good price, I'll take them all off your hands. Still, the most valuable donations Santa's Helpers gets every year are the helpers themselves, especially since they've added a summertime drop-off for the homeless called Christmas in July. I go as the elf. <laughs> Tim, I need your height. Tim Adcock has been volunteering here for the past six years. People don't realize how bad others have it, you know, until you're exposed to what others have to live in, you know, and see what they go through, you, you just don't know, you know? You don't know what you don't know. Spider-Man paper, too, he should be happy. And here is something a lot of people don't know about Rita Sweener. I'm Jewish, raised by a rabbi, Orthodox. Four-year-old, six, five kids. Okay, now we got a 16-year-old. After 50 years in the Santa business, Rita has lots of pictures and lots of stories, but there is one that is among her favorites. I got a thank you note from my father, which is very unusual. Mother's arrived, this was a father, and he says, I lost my job in October. We're in the process of maybe losing our home. I sat down and had a talk with the kids about there is no Santa. He said, we are very, very poor mood Christmas Eve, and there's a knock at the door, and there stands a man in the Santa suit with a bag of toys, not only for my kids, but for my wife and I. When Santa left, my little five-year-old tugged my shirt and said, Daddy, you lied. There is a Santa I will always believe. And he went, P.S., I will always believe, too. What started with just a few people in 1967, while Rita was still in college, has grown to an organization of more than 400. So it requires someone at the top capable of running a large enterprise. But Rita may not be that person much longer. Yeah, those would be great for the moms. After suffering a near fatal heart attack last year, she is starting to train others to take her place someday. So far, nine people have been given jobs that for the past half century have all been done by this one amazing woman who proves you don't have to be a man to play Santa and you don't have to be a Christian to have the Christmas spirit. We don't do it for religious reasons. We do it to help a kid say, you're important, you mean something, you're special.